We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, it is time, finally, for us to start up our adventures in Dark Envoy. This time, the director's cut. It is from the folks over at Event Horizon, and it released originally on October 24th, 2023. This has been on my list for a long time, and in fact, I think I did not make the cut for the original release of the game, but I think over the last several months, they've collaborated with the community to bring updates and things to make the game uh, better than ever. So they've just released a big, massive update that, again, was community-driven and essentially giving the players what they want, and they had another uh, round of outreach, and here we are. I am fortunate and lucky enough to have uh, received a code, and we're finally able to dive in and begin our adventures. So, I've not played this yet. I've played around in the settings, and that is it. So, this is going to be my very first hands-on experience. Apparently, we have uh, Malachi and Kayla. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I, I guess they're making me edit them. I, I They look fine the way they are. Oh, uh, so that's the look. Okay, well, then we get to choose class. I see. So we have a warrior, we have a ranger, we have an engineer. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I back up? I, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go back to the main menu. Just, just, just hold, hold on. All right, hold, hold on one more time. I, I'm curious, Is do they have the same classes? They seem to have the same classes. That was my question. All right, what happens if I load? Weird, right? Anyway, we got this. All right, so since they do seem to have the same classes, we are going to leave the looks alone. I think they, they did a good job creating our characters. We have a warrior, we have a ranger, we have an engineer, and we have an adept. I think what I'm going to do... Uh, eight per level for HP, four, that might be magic per level. This is five, three, and two. I think I might go engineer. Uh, then we have the Technomancer, the Inquisitor, or the Constructor. A living conduit who is able to channel electrifying magic and communicate with machines. The Technomancer hits enemies with a staggering performance that leaves everyone stunned. That's available at level 7, as are the other two. Well, at least we can see the different archetypes that's going to come out of this. Elementalist, a combat medic, and a summoner. I kind of like this idea better, to be honest. Um, all right, I'm going to do engineer. I don't I don't love it, but that's what we're doing. I don't know specifically what we need or don't need. As a... Oh, maybe it tells us. We'll go back here. Uh, what, what stats are most important for engineer? Do we know? Generate electric, surefish, uh, in 12 meter drawn path that lasts for six seconds. Looks charged. 10 second stun to, uh, okay, yep, cool. Um, feels magic -y ish? I don't, don't know. I wish that, what is all this? Uh, sorry, I wish they would, uh, tell you a little bit more about what you're doing. Power increases weapon skill. I guess at 15? What? Oh, the, these different things. We get 10% max mana at 10, plus 1 to weapon skill, plus 20% to max mana, and skill mana cost. Mastery seems to be about health regen, and then directly here, our max mana seems to go up, and so does our skill power based on power. Endurance, max health, tenacity, weight capacity, speed, and attack speed. Uh, sorry, attack speed and cooldown reduction. And then might, weapon damage. All right, I'm going to do two might. I'm going to do four power, one mastery, one endurance, two speed. 
I have no idea. I don't know. I, I'm sure I'm making 100,000 mistakes. It's okay. I have accepted this and moved on. Equipment. Uh, the rifleman set. Shock trooper. The front line set. I, I think the rifleman set seems fine for me. Yeah, I like it. Uh, uh, summary. Okay. And then we get to edit Kayla. And she is a lovely green eyed alas. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna go warrior with her. It, it's almost always the other way, right? It's almost always you get the man in the front lines, you get the woman as a support. We're gonna flip the script a little bit. We're gonna let the woman go up front. Now, granted, I would throw my body in front of pretty much most women uh, to uh, prevent them from being hurt. That's just in, in my nature, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like Guardian, Assassin, or Blade Master are possible futures. Yeah, well, let's, let's do this. this. This works for me. I'm curious as to what they look like if they're different outfits. I kind of wanted to check the other guy. I forgot. Uh, more or less the same. This is the only one that really is different. Everything else is pretty much identical with weapon changes and, and, and apparently boots. Apparently the Ranger and the Adept have the same boots. However, the Engineer, eh, eh, and I think little wrist guards. Okay, sleeves are a little different too. Anyway, none of that matters. All right, here we are. Uh, I mean, I could assume might, speed, endurance, mastery, maybe a little bit into power. Something along those lines, eh. So four might, two speed, four endurance, two power, and two mastery. I I don't I don't know. We're we're gonna hope that that makes sense. Uh, protector set. I mean, you, you already know. I mean, you you already know. You know what's going down. We got ourselves a one-handed axe, another one-handed axe. I mean, I would prefer a two-handed axe. I guess we could go with a two-handed warhammer. Hmm. And then there's the sword and board. And then we got the, the assassin build, the backstabber set. Mm, aggression amulet. Weapon damage and movement speed. Ooh. This is kind of the opposite. This is just heavy hitting. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, that looks that looks dead sexy, doesn't it? Big old hammer. Mm. Now we're going to go with her. Well, she lost all her cool stuff. All right, look. Just just because this is the 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 armor that she's got, we're, we're going we're going big heavy. Um, yeah, I guess berserker. This is more barbarian, I suppose. All right, let's do it. Uh, I just okay. I have to confirm. Story mode: uh, casual difficulty for players mainly interested in exploration and plot. Uh, easy, less punishing difficulty suited for newcomers to the RPG genre. Then we have normal. Default game mode meant for experienced RPG players. Definitely what I'm going to be running with. Uh, I do like to see the default, like the the way the developer intends the game to be played. So take that as you wheel. All right. Um, hard, formidable challenge for the most hardened RPG veterans. And insane. It's been nice knowing you. Uh, super cool. All right. Normal. Let's go. Somewhere in the desert, we emerge from the familiar nothingness ordered to make this foreign place our new home. It belongs as much to us as it does to them. John Ooh. was a habitable planet, orbiting the G-type dwarf star with billions of years of stable fusion ahead. Located in the outer reaches, it was shielded from the galactic center and its energy jets. However, hidden from plain sight, an anomaly of the very essence of the universe lingered just above Jarn. Precisely at a point where tidal forces of the planet and its moon averaged out, a super dense speck of exotic matter marked the fluctuation in space-time geometry. Was it a feature? or a bug of this mana-powered world. The same natural selection that created proud and often quite brutal individuals on Jan 
imprinted their mark on far deadlier ecosystems, billions of light years away. A monster civilization that transformed themselves into post-biological, energy-based entities, feeding themselves on the energy of the whole galaxy. They consumed every creature, planet, star, black hole, and individual molecule. Then they feasted on a supermassive quasar, located in the center of this now devoured galaxy. Even the most advanced species had no chance in a clash with such an enemy. But like everything in the universe, those creatures had been bound by strict limitations of physics, distance, and time. John remained safely out of their reach. So far, at least. Our two unlikely heroes, adventurous relic hunters, remained blatantly ignorant of all those facts. Their home, a settlement known only as the City of Bones, sat safely in the desert region of this planet, surrounded by nothing but sand, ruins, and artifacts, left by the mysterious Ancients. That harmony was not to last, as dark evil forces had already been put into motion, and war raged over the horizon. So yeah, they should have listened to the narrator, they'd be completely understanding what's going on. Ah, uh, that was cool. I, I love the, uh, was it a bug or a feature part of the play? That, that was good. That, that got me. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Alright, what's up? I wonder what these two are gonna sound like. Or are they gonna sound like anything? That dude's voice is impossibly deep. I... The damn scorching breath of the desert. Ugh, it even smells like death. Fair. For years this place was completely deserted, and now this. Now we know why the captain sent us here. Well, at least we know this guy won't be causing us any problems. True. Well, let's get going. But stay alert. Something feels way off here. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> All right. Camera movement. The To move the camera, move the cursor to the edge to pan. Wazzed. Hold the middle mouse button. Uh, hold Alt to rotate. Okay, I appreciate that. That, that, that all works. Q&E, &E, I, I prefer a little bit better, but I see why we're not doing that. Now, these controls can be changed in the... Okay, yeah, no, that's totally fine. All right, check out the desert ruins. It looks like we got some spoopy, stinky boys over there. What this? A statue of the ancients. One of the many remnants of their mysterious disappearance. Okay, tactical. Okay, we got our tactical pause. I'm a fan. Ha! Ah! Uh, to attack, click an enemy with the right mouse button. To use a skill, click on its icon or press the corresponding keybind. Read skill descriptions to learn more. Do 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 Time for plan B. There it is. I assume that the gray part is our shield. So I got away at just the right time. All changes the character's HP health points are represented on its HP bar. The gray part of the HP bar is a magic shield. A, a fraction of all damage that exceeds your magic shield is converted into wounded HP. The red part of the HP bar is wounded HP. It doesn't regenerate and can be restored using skills. Many skills affect uh, skills and effects inflict statuses. A status inflicted on your character is marked by an icon near the portrait. Hover over the icon to learn more about it. I don't think I have one of those. Dude, the battle's over, man. Calm down. When combat begins, the tactical mode automatically turns on. It slows down time, allowing you to better appraise the situation and issue orders. You can press the spacebar to turn it on or off. The tab key switches between slow motion and pause. Oh, we have even slower slow. Oh. Um, 
Click on an enemy to lock their pop-up in the upper left corner of the screen. Hover over the effect icons, display, learn more. Okay. Uh, detection range. Enemies out of combat have a detection range. When you move into it, you get spotted. Combat starts. Got it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so hold on. Yeah, so if we do this, me. and then we we hit tab, it literally is a tactical pause. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's a nice distinction. 12% seems like a, a fair percentage. Uh, it's alt. Okay. Sure, why not? Already immediately, I I like what I what I see. Oh, a waypoint has Those been unlocked. Those things are so damn convenient. I just wish they worked for longer distances as well. True, probably. Uh, interact with waypoints to quickly return to previously explored locations. So wait, what does this do? Gain. Oh, I could. Ooh, I can. Uh, when I go to charge in, I can smack them and then iron skin. Or maybe I should iron skin first. I'm not. I'm not real sure on that one. Gotcha. Okay, this does appear to be the way that we need to go. And uh, looking behind us, use a what? To use a draw skill, hold the left mouse button and oh. Is that, a th is that a thing I need to do? Generate... Oh, a draw... Yeah, no, that is a thing I need to do. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna let my girl yes. sit back there. Do 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 You asked for this. She's got all the damage in the world and all the arm oh, there's more stuff coming. Right away. Uh how how does Alright, hold on. I'm going to read this real quick. Elemental statuses are paired into opposites. Uh, frostbite, burn, and poisoned, charged. If opposite elemental statuses are inflicted, they cancel one another out. Oh, interesting. Uh, how do I deal with the reinforcements? I, I mean, I, I suppose I just take them out. Yep, okay, I, I see there's a, a, a finite number of them. Oh, yeah. Watch my back. Ow. Nasty. Time for plan B. What do you propose? <laughs> On my way. No, I took damage. I took the tiniest amount of damage. Oh, I am a fool. Is. All right, it looks like we uh, defeated all of the uh, considerable sure. nasties. I, I think we did okay. I don't think that went poorly. I'm glad I decided to, to do some of the weird drawing stuff. I like it. It's cool. All right. Accept. Are going to talk to me about items? No. Okay. I'll just do it myself. Um, we have the Imperial Gauntlets. 24 and 29. Uh, maybe that is 24 armor and 29 magic shield. This is 16 and 24. That was good. And this is better than what he's got. But it increases weight. Uh, does weight have some effect on us? 
I don't know. Maybe? Movement speed. Weight capacity is 37. How much do we weigh now? We're at, we're at 9. So it seems like I could technically put these gloves on. And they're going to be better for them. Magic shield's 47. 40. Yeah, okay. That all tracks. It is as I thought it was. Very, very, very cool. I'm liking this so far. And we be on our way. Sure. Cover. Units of cover receive 50% less damage from ranged attacks. Covers may break after blocking too many strikes. Units don't benefit from cover if they are engaged with melee combatants. All right, good to know. Exploding cactus, huh? Well, I think once again we're going to probably lead off with a little bit of the old... A little bit of the old... Uh, why don't you come on walking in and there see what's are. going on? Uh, explosive cacti are a type of tactical environmental... Uh, sorry, environment. Uh, hover over them to learn more. Keep an eye out for objects and areas you can use to gain advantage in combat. Tactical environments are tactic are highlighted in tactical mode. Units of cover, 50% range, breaking. Yeah, there we go. Be careful. Enemies up ahead. Retreat. Yes. Plan. Okay, not too bad. L a little bit of a uh, finagleitude, but uh, I like I'm it. Let's kind of slow walk our way through here. Is there any loot to be had or anything? Oh. Oh, but it seems there are more Sounds enemies to, to be combatitated. Uh, and flicks charged 10 second stun two and entry deals 14 per second. Get him. Beautiful. Well done. All right. I don't know if, uh, here, we should try this. Is she affected by this? Are you affected by this? No. So I can cast this for free without having to worry about our allies getting hurt by it. Interesting. I'm wondering if all, uh, area of effect stuff is going to be akin to that. If this isn't one of those trusty old, or dare I say, ancient healing fountains. Healing fountains are the only means of restoring wounded HP. Each fountain can be used a limited number of times, as indicated by the green bars. I think I'm good. I don't think I got hurt enough for that to really be something I need to 100% focus on. I mean, we can we can come back later and do it. Sure. Sure. Okay, we have the cacti there. Something going down over here. More trouble on our way. Oh, well, that sucked. Um Cover me. Yeah. 
What do you propose? Bad. I don't think we took any actual damage there. I think we did that phenomenally well. Phenomenally. Sure, why not? Sweet. Ooh, there's a mining deposit. So what are we doing out here? Sure. Thoroughly plundered. Well, I suppose that makes sense. That's a questionable. Sounds like, yeah, no, it is questionable to walk into quicksand. You're not wrong. You are not wrong or incorrect there. Oh, we can uh, we can zoom out a little bit more. I didn't know that, or maybe I didn't. Didn't just gotcha. didn't pay attention that I could do that. Scavenger's note. A handwritten note with a poorly drawn portrait attached to it. Beware of this guy. He is a liar. Promised good deals. Gave us some counterfeit crap. Don't do business with him. Sadly, the portrait barely resembles a human to begin with. Well. Oh, we got pantalones. Eh? Eh? They're probably not better than... I'm wrong. They are better than what she's wearing. How? She got imperial gauntlets. Then she's got, like, marauder leather chest and then garbage pants and basic boots. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're going to throw this on our girl and make her ever more tanky and and dead sexy. Huh? Look, look at the little catwalk, twirl it up, twirl it right back, yeah? And, of course, we got we got to let him represent, twirl it up, eh? twirl it right back. Yeah. Super sexy. He's got better boots than we do. Eh, whatever. Okay, uh, all notes and journals you find are stored in the Codex Codex, Codex tab of the player menu. Well, so far this is fantastic. I, I am thoroughly enjoying my, my time. And I can always backtrack and heal at the healing spot. Oh, we're out of time. I don't want to stop. All right. Anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this particular episode. Dark Envoy. I've been waiting a very long time to play this. Um, I, I think this was an early access, and then like, even before that I knew about the game. Like, it's been years that I've been waiting to play this. So I'm super happy, very stoked, and very grateful that the code was sent my way. So thank you very, very, very much, Event Horizon. I truly appreciate it. That all being said, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links, just like there always are. Uh, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe, folks. There will be more to come. And, yeah, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.